Arg. I'm super bored. I'm still using in my own iMac Macos High Sierra computer and my own Samsung Sense Mastery 1720 Windows 10 computer with 900 gigabytes is on the left side and still turned off in the left. What should I do now? Oop. I have an idea. Maybe I could downgrade my own iPhone 4 to iOS 4.3.5 using Cherry Flowerage, but it's in Wayback Machine in web.archive.org, even if I still have a Google Pixel 7 phone already. Okay. I'm now downloading this Cherry Flowerage v one 1 f 79zip file direct. Successfully downloaded it. I'm going ips.me. OK, iPhone. iPhone 4, GSM, iOS 7.1.2, first. Download. Next, back, iOS 4.3.5. Download. Done downloading. OK, dragging firmware files into cfjb underscore v1.6.0 underscore 1f79 folder. OK. I'm using it in full mode on this iPhone 4 all by myself. I'm now holding power and home button in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Holding power button still in 1 to 7 seconds. Yes. Now my old iPhone 4 is in full mode. OK, OK, terminal window open search. Ugh. What? Last login can't explaining this. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm now typing CD. I'm dragging this folder in the terminal window. Okay, I'm now typing. Slash I a store T, and I'm pasting that firmware files I downloaded in this browser, and it's the firmware file iPhone 3, 1 underscore 7 dot 1 dot 2 underscore 1 1 D257 underscore restore dot ips. Let's paste it together in the terminal window. Copy, paste. Done. Enter tab. Holy mercy. The blobs are fetching? How? I'm ready for next thing. This SHSH file is finally arrived like this. It's called 257270344236 iPhone 3,1-7.1.2.shsh. I'm copying and pasting this SHSH folder together in the terminal window. But nope, not yet. First, I'm tapping scat less than SHSH slash, copy, paste the SHSH file. I'm now typing forward to greater than SHSH slash, paste, rename to SHSH to plist. That's good. I'm copying this plist file now. Uh. Plit will convert XML1 SHSH slash, Paste. Enter tab. OK, yeah, the firmware file iPhone 3, 1 underscore 4.3.5 underscore 8L1 underscore restore dot ips is now gonna copy and paste into the terminal window. First, I'm typing slash cherridge and paste it. Space. I'm highlighting the 257270344236 and I'm gonna copy and paste it together in the terminal window back. First of all, I'm typing underscore iPhone 3 comma 1 underscore 4.3.5 underscore 8L1 underscore custom dot ips, space. I'm now typing J memory, even if jailbreaking the iOS 4 firmware should have Sadia installed for a reason, even if I could remove J or not, then I'll keep them guys I'm using J to jailbreak iOS 4. That's all. Keep on going. Space. Typing the rebizantic we. Paste the iPhone 3, 1 underscore 7 dot 1 dot 2 underscore 1 1 D257 underscore restore dot ips firmware file in the terminal window, space, SHSH slash, copy, paste the 257270344436 iPhone 3, 1 dash 7 dot 1 dot 2 dot plist file in the terminal window. Oh yeah, the custom ips is gonna create it together. Enter. Hashing ips. Holy mercy. Look with their matching ips and jailbreak bundles. It will be 5 minutes long to do so. Oh yeah. It's done. First, 
a brand new custom IPS firmware file is added in the CFJB file. It's called 257270344426 underscore iPhone 3 comma 1 underscore 4.3.5 underscore 8 L1 underscore custom dot IPS. But first, typing slash it under 32p. And this is why my old iPhone 4 is already in full mode, and it's PWNED full mode on. Looks like they were sending exploit payload, sending fake data, executing exploit, reconnecting the device, exploit sent, reconnecting to device again, and my own device is in PWNED full mode. That's going to be another command word is gonna be a surprising thing ever mad. This phone should better be not disconnected during this process. Ugh. Oh my god looks like I'm ready to type mdvshsh. Copy that shsh7.1.2 file and paste it in the terminal window. And I'm also typing shsh slash. And pasting it again. Rename to 4.3.5. There. Hit enter. There. This is a final one and I hope it will not fail again. Typing. Slash idavisor is Tori W. Copy and pasting 4.3.5 custom IPS file in the terminal window. Pressing. Enter. Activate. Ah. Uh, enter. Phew. That was a close one. Looks like it's extracting file system from IPS. Yep. The screen goes white in my old iPhone 4 when it's still downgrading back to iOS 4.3.5. And now, the white screen disappears. And it looks like the iOS 1 to 6 Apple logo is appearing in black screen when it's still downgrading. It will take 10 minutes to complete the downgrading. Aight. The downgrading looks done to me. Whoa. It seems like I need to connect to iTunes quick as possible. The iTunes activated my iPhone. Oh my yes. Okay. Slide to unlock. Oh yes. This is what Game Center has been added to iOS 4.1 to iOS 9.3.5. Even if iPhone 4S runs iOS 9, it will downgrade to iOS 6 using that kind of iPhone 4S or iPad 2. So, YouTube is still on the iPhone 4, even if it doesn't work forever. I'm scrolling right. Whoa! It has Sadia installed cause I jailbroke it after downgrading. Maybe this was I used J command in the terminal window in Mako's high Sierra and downgrading iPhone 4. Okay, that's all for today.